my name is Maud, I'm an automated test conceptor and welcome to this tutorial on mouse actions on Agility Test. In this tutorial we will see how to do click actions, then we'll see how to do a swipe action, a drag and drop action and then a scroll action. These different mouse actions can also be done on a mobile application because it simulates a tap or a swipe of the finger. So first we're going to see how to do a simple click action. So for this one, you're going to click on the capture button to open the capture window and then you're going to select the component you want to click on. For this set of example, there is the presence of an iframe. So in this case, you just have to always click on the ID selector and then you leave it like that. Go back to the component you wanted to select first, click on the ID selector and drag and drop into the editor. Then select the mouse click. Click on the play button to execute the action and there you go. So if you click on the click action, you will see that there are different types of click. There is a wheel click, the right click and the double click. So that's it for the click actions. Next, we're going to see how to do a swipe action. So for this one, we are going to create a mouse action directly on the editor. So click on the mouse button and then choose the swipe action. Then click on the capture button to open the capture window and select the component you want to swipe. Again, there is an iframe, so click on the ID selector and go back to your component. Drag and drop it into the action you already created and then click on the swipe edition. There you can choose where you want to swipe toward. So I'm going to swipe toward the left and I'm going to swipe around 400 pixels. So when I click on the play button, it will swipe to the left. So that's it for the swipe actions. Then we'll see how to do a drag and drop action. So for this one, open the capture window to select the component you want to drag. Again, there is an iframe, so click on the ID selector and just leave it. Then click on the component you want, I'm going to select the text selector and then I'm going to drag and drop it into the editor. I choose the mouse action and the drag action. Then select the component where you want to drag your first component. Again the iframe for me, then I choose the ID selector and I drag and drop it into my editor. But before choosing the drop action, I'm going to actually hover because it simulates a human interaction. Because by hovering, it lets you indicate that you want to fly over this area. So click on the hover action and there you can see that it's centered by default. So for my example, I'm going to try to hover on the left. So I'm going to click on the top left corner of this um, Cartesian offset. Then I'm going to drag my element into a new action to again choose an hover action and this time on the right. Then I'm going to drag my element and choose another action. This time we'll finally drop it. So if you go down, go back to the first drag action you've done and then you click on the play button, you see that your element is dragged, then it's hovering and then it's dropped. So that's it for the drag and drop action. Finally, we'll see how to do a scroll action. There are actually two types of scrolls. So for the first one, we're just going to open the capture window to select the component we want to scroll. So again, there is an iframe, so I take care of it by choosing the ID selector. Then I go back to the component I wanted to select and I drag it into my editor. Then create the scroll action. Then click on auto scroll and place your mouse on this little square. Then with your mouse wheel scroll up or down. The higher the number, the longer it will scroll. Then click on the play button to execute the action. There you go. So next we're going to see how to do an auto scroll. So for this one, we're just going to capture a specific element of your list. So click on your capture button to open the capture window and select the component we want to scroll down to. Again, take care of the iframe, then click back on your component, choose the text selector and drag it into your editor. Again, choose the mouse and scroll action, leave it on auto scroll and then if you go back to the top of the list and you click on your play button to execute the action, 
Voila! So thank you for listening to this tutorial and I will see you next time. Bye bye!